That last trout came in relatively shallow water considering we have a 74 degree surface temperature. Now, the trout can't survive in 74 degree water long term, but they will come up into warm water early and late in the day to feed. So just because you have a high surface temperature, oh, I got another fish on that woolly right there. Just because you have a warm surface temperature, this one was only at 10, um, doesn't mean you can't pull trout out of it. Um, it means that you're not gonna find them there long term. They're not gonna hang out in that water all day long. I've caught uh, trout bass fishing at Lake Shasta in 80 degree water on crankbaits that only dove down about six feet. So just because the surface temperature is warm, first thing in the morning, absolutely run some baits in it and see if you can, can hook some fish because they do move up when they want to feed. They'll dart up into that warm water, grab a morsel to eat and go back down into cooler water where they're more comfortable. This fish got some shoulders. He's, uh, he's feisty, he feels heavy. That's, uh, that's interesting. We'll see. I've never, like I said, I've never caught a really big trout in this lake, but this one's, uh, this one's representing pretty dang well. We ain't there, Lucy. That's, uh, three hookups on a woolly booger, although one was really brief. Two were really, really strong. So, might put another woolly booger on. Put that on the down river, but we'll see. We're catching fish, so no big rush to change things up when you're catching fish. Trout fishing is all about putting together a pattern. Absolutely. Love the lead core, baby. <laughs> uh, you got to be getting close. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice fish. I'm going to try the old lift roo on this one. Oh, oh, he's thrashing. Oh, we got him. We got him. Look at that one. Oh, that's a nice one. That one's got a clean tail. He might have been in here for a while. Get him off the hook and get him back in the water. What a handsome rainbow he is. That's a nice fish. Pink woolly booger. There you go. Go get him, tiger. Right back down he went. Awesome. Awesomeness. Okay. With the exception of when I'm putting out lines, I haven't been trolling in a straight line. I've been grinding a really tight oval right here. Um, I found some fish and I'm staying on those fish and it's paying off. Remember, whenever you're out trout fishing, one of your goals is, is you know, obviously to establish a pattern, but one of the other goals is to cut the lake down to size. I mean, this is already a small lake, but I'm fishing just a very small portion of the lake and I'm gonna continue grinding on these fish until they give me a reason to leave. So, number one, you want to establish a pattern. You want to figure out what the best offering is when you're out on the water. But if you find fish in a certain area or orienting to a certain feature, by all means, cut the lake down to size, stay on those fish until they give you a reason to go look elsewhere. And uh, I'm very happy here right now. That's just a quick tip, guys. Um, thanks for joining me on YouTube. I'll catch you here next time. If you're looking for trout gear, woolly boogers, um, trout tricks, worms, rods, reels, more, you know, all that stuff, you know where to go, fhsfishing.com.